welcome back to another episode of the poor man's GTR build. Now, before I proceed, there was a little bit of controversy in the previous episode. Uh, it's probably mainly people that didn't watch episode one. In episode one, I said that this is a 1998 GTT R34 Skyline. I never said it was a GTR. And now the whole point of the, the title poor man's GTR is to try replicate a GTR for a fraction of the cost. So what are we gonna do in this episode? We're going to be replacing the rear quarter panels off a GTT and welding these wider panels off on that are off a GTR. I bought these panels brand new from Total Nissan in Cannington, that is Western Australia. And you can still buy them brand new. The left side came in within a week, while the right side we're going to have to wait for it to come from Japan. Without any more talking, let's start cutting up this car.
So to get this rear quarter panel off, you're going to have to start by removing the rear windscreen and the quarter glass to um, get access to those spot welds that you would either otherwise not be able to get to. Then you're going to have to use a drill bit that is specifically made for removing spot welds and you pretty much go around the lip, the windows, the door jam, anywhere you see spot welds that you think will connect this new panel to the car, you're going to have to drill that off and also use a wire wheel to remove any seam sealer that is also bonding those two panels together. With the panel removed, you're going to start extending the inner tub or the inner lip. Now what we did is we cut the lip off where it starts curving down into the outer skin and extended it by using sheet metal. While another option you can do is go watch Rad Rado's video because he's done this exact conversion but his car is now painted and this isn't. Um, he bought a brand new tub and that's how he extended his wheel arch while I, I went the I don't know if it's cheaper or easier, but if I was just more confident in doing it this way by cutting that old lip off where it curves down into the outer skin and extending it using just sheet metal. In my case, I just use sheet metal from the old quarter panel as it is the same thickness.
So with the wheel arch now extended, you're going to have to grind those welds down and apply seam sealer just to make sure that water never enters the car and you prevent it from rusting and it lasting a long time.
So as you guys just saw, the new panel got welded on. Pretty much, I'll explain like I did in the previous episode. Imagine this is the quarter panel and this is the car. Where those two panels meet, you're going to have to grind down the metal uh, to bare metal and spray weld through primer. While on these outer pieces, you are going to have to grind them back to bare metal and that's where your spot welder goes into play and spot welds the sections that need to be spot welded. Something, some of it will have to get spot welded, some of it will have to get MIG welded. If you don't have a spot welder, just use a MIG, grind those, uh, grind those welds flat because otherwise your windows and your rubber seals won't fit the car. So that's what you're gonna have to do. I'm super stoked that the channel went from like 850 or 900 um, people subscribed to the channel all the way to over 12,000 within 10 days. So I am super, super stoked. We might have done something special and, or might have not bought another project car, but I guess time will tell if we if we did it or we didn't do it. Um, there's a lot of things. We're still waiting on that right quarter panel, as I said, to come from Japan. And we're moving out of this house. I have to move out of that other workshop. I've got assignments coming in. So I'm all over the show. I'm trying to like pump content out make sure it's good, but I think the next few episodes might be S15 related. People have asked for S15 videos, so we might as well push out a few S15 videos while that car is still running and in Danny's hands instead of the police. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and subscribe for more.